My name is Star. I live in Carlsbad, California. I've been living with migraines since I was in my early teens. They always started with light sensitivity. There's always light sensitivity. My speech would slow. I would get very tired. I'd have a lot of pain, and then the nausea would come. So if we think about what migraine impacts, because it's more than what the day-to-day -day, um, impact of it is, it's whether or not you can work full-time, whether or not you can accept that social engagement. But I just couldn't make those kind of commitments. And I felt that I was letting people down. When I was about 40, the migraine frequency increased, so I knew it was time to seek some treatment. And I found an excellent neurologist um, with migraine specialty. I live a very active and full life. I exercise every day. I've got a dog that I like to play with, who likes to run around, and I've got a very loving husband. I've definitely made some lifestyle changes. The one big thing that I've learned is that I never procrastinate on work. So if I'm assigned a project, I get it done as soon as I possibly can. And that way it doesn't put any pressure on so it doesn't trigger a migraine. And then just in case I do wait too long and I have a migraine, then I might not hit a deadline. If there's one thing I could tell people is track your frequency and your severity so that it's easy enough for a neurologist to see it and they can really understand what you're going through. Advocating for yourself is probably one of the most important things. For migraine in particular, you have to be your best advocate. 